What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, The Crow Show. In today's video, I'm going to show you just a sneak preview of the next video I'm working on for Wraith. I also just wanted to highlight this one because at the end of this game, one of the survivors got really rude to me. Told me to go get a very serious illness. So trigger warning, if that's a trigger for you, that level of toxicity, go ahead and skip the video. Uh, but see if you can watch this and guess which one tells me to go get this serious illness. So playing as Wraith on Gideon without Brutal Strength is a really bad time. Thankfully they didn't bring the map offering or anything, as they just got lucky. They just got Gideon. This Kate was really good. That was a nice little move. So at this point, I'm just trying to get everybody injured, seeing if I can just break resources. I cut off Kate. Uh, she runs down the stairs. I'm thinking, maybe she has windows. Maybe there's a pallet right there. And she almost makes that. I pick her up, get her on the hook, and I've got my first stack of No Way Out. Tried to kick that Jen. It got blocked uh, because of Deadlock. I think Deadlock is a very good slowdown perk if you don't want to lose your generators super fast. So I did a quick patrol, saw Kate's scratch marks, so I, ca I chase the Kate number two. Uh, that's just <laughs> being an M1 killer on Gideon. You, you just, you're gonna get stunned a lot. There's no point in chasing Michaela through that god room. Jeff pre-drops like a champion. I run into the Kate figure oh and she's playing some crazy good mind games here she got me really good wasted some time there dropped a pallet so i gotta play this pallet it's kind of mindless just to go break it right away she runs into this room which uh it's kind of i think it's a tl right but <laughs> the other kate was there so she inadvertently sandbags her friend I don't think it was on purpose. I actually do think that this was all solo queue players. So that Kate goes on hook, and I've got two stacks of No Way Out. I lost my second generator there. So Spies from the Shadows gives me some value there. And so I find the Kate again, and this time, hey, that pallet's gone. I, I thought there was a pallet right there. I was trying to cancel that. I don't really want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about that either. I think Jeff got the unhook, so I hit Jeff. Just want to generate some pressure, so as you can see, three of them are injured. This Jeff actually has balanced landing. He didn't make any noise when he falls down. Survivors typically make that, whoa, sound when they drop from the second floor. So the man pre-drops, and pretty incredible gameplay. And Michaela sprint bursts away. But unfortunately, uh, the Kate was still here. This girl just kept getting caught in really bad position. So I gotta try Zoner in there. It would help a lot if I had Brutal Strength. Uh, the Michaela probably should have stayed there to take a hit for her. Uh, but instead, you know, they get that generator fixed. That's three gens fixed. Still only uh, two count for No Way Out. Did a quick patrol. Michaela got the unhook, and I'm like, okay, well, I've got to try to get my No Way Out stacks up. I've got that incredible ping. Get Michaela on a hook, and I've got three stacks of No Way Out. And this Kate, I just kept running into her, and she ran into a really bad spot. And she's out of the game with two gens left. My only source of slowdown is Deadlock. And I'm in a bit of trouble here, but they're all injured. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, I just got to keep them all injured. If we go to end game, that's awesome. I made a mistake patrolling that area where the gen was just fixed. I probably should have went and patrolled the other generators. Run into the Jeff, hit him. Run into Michaela, and I got to get her injured. Um, boom. All the generators are fixed. But look at that Wesker perk. Terminus? Is it Terminus? They're all in, they're all broken, and they cannot heal until the exit gate is open. And, and I've got no way out. So they, at this point, I think they can't open the gate for 45 seconds because I've got three stacks and it's 15 seconds per stack. 
So they cannot touch the exit gate. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, I can put Kate on the hook, get some pressure going here. And again, keep in mind, one of these people at the end game tells me to go get a serious illness. And I'm curious if you know which one. So because of Spies from the Shadows, I was able to get value out of that. I knew where the Michaela was. So put her down. I'm like, I'll just put her on a hook right away. You know, I had a win condition. I could have went and found Jeff and took him down. But instead, we I, I decided to extend the end game a little bit. Slug Jeff, and here's my win condition. I've got the Kate. She's in a really tough spot here. Uh, she greeted that. That was a good play by her. And um, maybe I shouldn't have broke that pallet. Maybe she should have went for the unhook, but I think she actually runs into a dead zone where there's nothing to play with. And so Kate goes down and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, let's put Kate on the hook. It's clear that Jeff does not have unbreakable. He might have deliverance. So I'm like, well, okay, these two are about to be out of the game so that when I get Jeff on a hook, he won't be able to get off the hook with Deliverance. He'll just die right away. He hasn't been hooked yet. So he's on this pallet, and I'm thinking to myself, maybe he has, uh, I think it's Power Struggle Flip-Flop. So maybe he can get himself, uh, like say, do a pallet save by himself. And I was trying to encourage him to crawl off the pallet, but he stayed there, so I was like, Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna go find uh, the hash. So I sped things up by uh, two times here. So I found the hatch, closed the hatch, and I go back to Jeff. I'm like, okay, well, now I can go pick him up. That way, if he stuns me, it's not a big deal. I'll be able to just chase him down. And it took 60 seconds to find the hatch and get back to Jeff. So I picked him up and he didn't have that combo. I really wanted the 4K because I thought this Jeff was playing like a little bit of a little bit of a selfish Sally. And so I get him on a hook and I give him some of the business. That's his first hook. All his teammates were taking aggro. They were getting caught out of position and he was playing like a little bit of a rat. So again, try to guess which one got salty and took things way too far during endgame chat. I didn't really think much of this round. I just thought, hey, that was a really good round. That's a nice example of when you should never give up during a round. I thought I was in a lot of trouble, but my end game build actually came in clutch. So I'm just checking out the perks uh, and then I see the magic message pop up and trigger warning. I'm only going to show this message once right here. And then um, I blank it out after we have this little interaction. So I'm not going to say that out loud, but I was like, wait, are, are you okay, dude? Like, why would you say something like that? Like, it's a video game, right? I didn't tunnel anybody. I didn't proxy camp. I, 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 I don't understand. So I went back to his profile and the, the weird thing is, it's for some reason lately, I haven't been able to easily click on people's profiles to either give them a thumbs up or thumbs down or report them. So that's all he said. And he left it at that. And it was a private profile. It's always a private profile. I really don't like it when people play like rats. And this guy was a big time rat. And, uh, you know, he had windows of opportunity, balance landing. Um, I think that's Kindred and Calm Spirit. Actually custom design build for this map. He's lucky he got it. So I hit the report button. Drop the report. Really hope I get the report successfully. Please don't do this to people. You, you never know what's going on in their lives. Um, don't be rude. That's it for today. Um, I'm sorry it's not a super positive, upbeat trial, but I just thought I'd share. This community can be pretty rough sometimes. And uh, I wish you all the best and hope you have some good games and I'll catch you next time.